this is the schneider middleware that we are trying to communicate to using modbus so we will be trying out a few different methods through which we want to get data out of this schneider smart meter so the meter in the picture is basically an em6436 conserve model currently it is uh, kind of obsolete but uh, still uh, the basic idea on how to configure this and get data out of the meter remains the same so once we have such a meter there are few things that we want to see so basically regarding the communication aspect so what we will do is we will see what is the current configuration of the smart meter in terms of communication so we have to kind of check okay the configurations for communication aspects basically the baud rate the parity bit and all so if we see these are the electrical part we will kind of switch or move on to the communication part so you can see the baud rate is basically currently set at 9600 parity is even uh, id basically the slave id for the uh, mode bus is 2 and these are the other things basically the important thing that we want is these two these parameters that is the board rate the id and the parity right so the meter in the picture basically is kind of with an id 2 but for the experiment or for the demonstration i'll be reading uh, with a meter that has an id 1 Here we have the setup uh, for getting the data from the Schneider meter using a Raspberry Pi. So the uh, hardware that you require additionally is basically the USB to this one, USB to TTL con uh, so USB to RS-45 converter which is kind of cheap, you will get it around 200 to 300 rupees. So uh, the two wires that you can see on the bottom the blue and the red is basically the modbus lines that comes from your schneider smart uh, smart meter now over to the software part for this code development so i'll be using the pi modbus library which is available in for python so this is the github page for that particular library and you can install it by just pip install pi modbus and it will automatically get installed in your system so here you can see it supports the tcp rtu over tcp udp cdl and tls right this is the code that we are going to use in order to get data from the schneider meter using raspberry pi and the usb to TTL converter so the library that we are going to use is pi modbus library itself and when we are creating a client, a serial client, the things that we have to take care is we have to mention the method which is basically RTU, uh, the Schneider meter that I have shown, EM6436 meter uh, has only RTU support only. Then we have to tell the port or basically uh, at which port is the USB detected. So I am in a Raspberry Pi, so the device is connected to TT by USB 0. Then the remaining configurations and the stop bit how many byte size um, parity and the board rate once you have created that object then you can call the connect method onto that object and if it's a successful this will uh, return uh, true so you can print that in order to check whether the connection is successful or not then what we want to try to do is basically read the holding registers which are the registers that contains the parameters such as the load voltage frequency current uh, and such so here we are reading basically two registers which is the voltage line to neutral voltage and the frequency from the schneider meter so this function will basically read data from this register with the address 3926 it will read two bytes of data and it will read from a meter which has a slave id as 1 then the response that you get is basically ha it has multiple entities and you need to kind of decode it to a proper value and so that you are using this particular line and then if we decode it to a float you will finally get the voltage similarly 
I am re trying to fetch the data from the uh, register that has the uh, frequency value and I am also reading 2 bytes. So this data again please follow the data sheet of this meter that you are going to uh, read. So if I run this you can see the voltage and the frequency value being printed every 1.5 seconds.